This is the uh, January 29th meeting of the Harbor Management Commission Plan Update Committee. Uh, I'm Kim Taylor, and in attendance are Jack Hirschler, Cheryl Beacock, uh, and Jeff Stedman. Um, so, everyone, uh, we're, we're, officially, we're officially in session. Um, I checked just literally five minutes ago, and we still have, we're still stuck at 103, uh, 106 responses. So. Well, it should be more. It should be 300. And, uh, I mean, 306. 300. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. looking right at it. Sorry, Jeff. Yeah, 306 yeah. responses. Um, so I, I to to to. To skip down to item number two on the agenda, any group that we missed, um, Jeff, you've pointed out several times that we don't have anybody under 20. Um, but I did notice, I did notice that in um, the question that asked, "How do you enjoy the harbor?" There were a significant number of responses jun to junior sailing programs. Oh yeah. Where is that? Which question is that? Uh, Number three. So I don't know. Uh, is that could that could that be people over twenty who are remembering f fondly their youth or or parents or pa right or parents or. Instructors who were somehow over. I mean, that was, we got more junior sailing program responses than we did uh, visiting boaters or, um, mm -hmm. well, visiting boaters ha anyway. Has it been sent out to the people on the mooring permit list? Or the, from yes. The, oh, oh, yes. Good. Yes. Ed, Ed uh, sent out. To everybody on uh, who is on online mooring, everybody got a got a uh, message. Right, it looks pretty clear that we got a good response from boaters. And the question yeah. I had asked Jeff about is whether we can understand the discrete responses of non-boaters. Right. <clears throat> I'll try to figure that out, but my. Yeah, I mean, I, it may not be possible, but it, I don't it, know that it's possible, it strikes me that we've done a good job of reaching out to boaters. Well, boaters and people who use the lower wharf. Right, yes, yes, clearly, yeah. I, I, I thought that that group was pretty well, seemed to be pretty well represented. Um, hmm. Is it worth it to try and to, to leave the survey open and try and get people under 20, do you think? I don't know that we I, heard, oh, I don't, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, Jeff. Go ahead. Sorry, I'll shut up. Go ahead. I, I don't know. Is there anything to, to lose by having it open for, you know, another several weeks? I mean, that, if we don't get any more answers and responses in a few weeks, then we could perhaps... I know. I know. community sailing. Uh, sent that to Mr. Ferguson, and he sent it to the, to the members. Uh, right. And, and there was quite a few yep. members that responded with that. Um, right. I don't know about Sasquanog and and, uh, but but they they received it directly from. Sasquanog received it directly from Jack Iams, from the, the president. Mm -hmm. They. I, I saw the email that he sent to. Actually, he sent it to to uh, members of Sasquanog and former members, so former board members. So, um, you know, he covered that. That's a. I think that's probably one of the reasons why we got so many people from Southport. I wonder why Mary hasn't called in. Uh, yeah. I, I I might if you. Pardon me, I may Go give ahead. her a yep. call. She may have forgotten, okay. and I'll just mute myself so you don't hear me. Okay. Kim, when yep. did we commit to 
providing a summary or an update to the community. And I ask that in the context of if we left this survey open for several more weeks, are we violating a commitment we made to give feedback by a certain date? Jack, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we committed to anybody to do anything in terms of, I think we said in, in Brenda's newsletter we will report back, but I don't think, uh, I don't think we, I don't think you know, we I, promised anything I think that the beginning of the survey introduction also says that we'll summarize the results, but I don't remember it saying exactly when. But yeah, I, I, don't, I don't remember a date at all, but. And, and I'd, I'll be curious to see today if she continues to have the survey link. It's been in two weeks. It's been in the last two of her newsletters. So I think we're going to have to, if we want it to stop, we have to, I think, tell her to stop. But um, Yeah. I, I frankly am not surprised that we don't have under 20 responses, um, that doesn't surprise me at all. Um, I don't know what, you know what, if that's meaningful to anyone or not, but that... Um, I guess when I think about I it, uh, I, 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 I agree with you, Cheryl. I'm not surprised. I mean, there's no... We didn't make an, I guess we can say we didn't make an effort really to reach them, number one. And number two, I mean, this isn't the kind of thing that, well, I'm generalizing like crazy here, that, that folks under 20 think about. Right. I would say the same thing. I mean, I wouldn't have at that age. I just, you know, yeah. I, th I think we got the response. I think we got an Again, as I said to you in an email, I'm not sure how many responses or what the response rate was we were targeting, but, boy, getting 306 responses is pretty darn good in my mind. I agree. I agree. I totally agree. I'm not agree. sure we're going yeah. to get a lot more anyway, Kim, unless there's a segment that we're going to reach out to that we haven't reached out to before. Right. I thought we had talked about it, um, making contact with the coaches for the um, – for the sailing teams, the academic sailing teams, and I didn't hear that we had done that. So that could explain why we got zero under 20. Right. I well, I think we, 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 we did spend a lot of time talking about that, but, uh, you know, the, the problem is identifying who the coaches are. Uh, but we know what schools they're from? Well, we know that from, the, from I, I believe, it's a combined team Fairfield High, uh, Ludlow, and Ward, a combined team there, and Fair, at least Fairfield Prep. I know and Prep Green's has Farm. And, I, and Green's Farms, right, thanks. Oh, yes. So it's those three, but, but I mean, my experience, and I certainly could be wrong with, with, the, with the sailing, but is that it's a, regu it's a teacher from one of those schools who gets paid, you know, an extra whatever. The coach. The coach, and yeah. you know, it's. Hello, I'm sorry. I'm as usual in the, in the fog. Well, but you're here now, Mary. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. Hi, Mary. Hi. Who all is there? Cheryl and Jack and Jeff and Kim. Okay, thanks. Okay, I'm very sorry. And we were okay. talking about you, – you, you, you joined us just in time. We were talking about um, trying to get uh, people under 20 uh, to respond and specifically thinking about how we could identify who the sailing coaches were of the uh, – at least four of the teams that, that use the harbor. Well, I tried – I reached out. I got one yep. that's in college, and I got another one uh, that they didn't know the name of. So I never got past that. And I don't think uh, – I, 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 my feeling was that these coaches go, go and uh, do what they do and go away, and they don't pay any attention to Southport Harbor. They're very grateful for having the boats, and that was that. Well, that so I, talking my experience is that they're teachers – 
Well, they are. The, the coaches yeah. are instru- instructors, and uh, but yeah. some of them are at this. Some are full blown adults with a fair amount of, of uh, coaching experience, and some of them are uh, kids, and and good kids. But you know, they know what they're doing. But um, they're not around in the winter. They they do their job and they go away. You can get them in the spring, but you can't get them now. Well, why why couldn't we we track down th- through Jeff the school and the teacher, and the teacher probably ha- or the coach probably has an email address for the kids and at least try that. I way. I tried that and I got I ran into uh, uh, one or two names. One of them is a kid, the child of a membership member of coaches who was in college and coaches at another club, and, and of course fully familiar with Southport Harbor, but. Um, uh, and the other one, I forget. His, oh, he's the high school teacher uh, in Bridgeport, who coach, who is the, the director of the uh, uh, junior sailing program. He operates out of an office most of the time and has uh, head instructors doing some most of the on the water stuff. But he is the one who really knows. Has some. Uh, he, he's focused on the school and the teaching uh, again and. Uh, not not so much as thinking about the harbor, I guess. I I I, I try. It's hard to reach them in the winter time. Even oh. even uh, even the one who's a child of a member. The, but the fellow who's in Bridgeport, could we maybe contact him? Yeah, I mean, um, well, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I can. I'll, I can see whether I can get a phone number or contact information. I can. What do you want him to do? Fill out the form? No, no. Wouldn't no. wouldn't wouldn't Jeff Mary have a have a contacts of the of the people that that use the property for the high school programs? And then if we just get the emails from Jeff and we we email those people with a link to the survey and ask them that they distribute it to the people that they they have uh, uh, communications with. All right. So you want you want the kids to you want the kids who are sailing there to respond there. Right. That's right. Right. We have nobody yeah. who's filled out the survey out of 300 who's under 20 years old. Okay. All right. Zero. Well, uh, I don't know. Jeff probably has a. Uh, uh, I can reach. I can reach the the kid who's a child of a Pequot person. I I know. I know the family, uh, and uh, I don't know where she is at this point. Uh, it's hard to know because. <laughs> This this is not the normal college, you know. You let's, understand that. Let's try Jeff Mary first. Let's ask Jeff just to. I did, did try. You, I did try Jeff. And did he? And, he, did you uh, and I tried. I tried uh, Bonnie, who was even better source, and I didn't yeah, get Bonnie much. Bonnie is even better. All well, right. but you know the the um, the uh, the folks who are in charge of high school sports um, have just recently made a decision. Um, and I've identified when winter sports are going to be over and when spring sports are going to be started. So um, the coaches and the schools have just li- literally within the last two weeks begun to identify, um, you know, what sports they're going to have and, and that kind of thing. So it may be that while we couldn't get that information from Bonnie a month ago, um, you, you know, the, the schools are having and the, the teams are starting to have to plan ahead. And so maybe it's a better time to contact them now than it has been. Well, that's so, true. And, and uh, the, other, the other part of this is that uh, they, Pequot ran a very successful junior program with about 100 kids in it. Uh, no more than 50 for their half day, half day uh, uh, classes. There were no more than 50 in either either the morning or the afternoon days. But they had it, and it was very safely run because an awful lot of the boats at Pequot are single-handed boats right now in the junior program. Right. And when they when it wasn't a single-handed boat, they had to decide who would like to crew with whom, who would like to sail with whom, and then they had to commit to sailing only with the same crew all summer long right? Uh, to keep away from the uh, virus. And right. I would imagine that they just sent out a thing right now. Uh, I just got it on my email. I'm pretty sure everybody got it on their email. It was uh, in the Yacht Club, so you probably can get it from uh, Bruce and call the chairman and see what, she, what her thoughts are. I don't even know who the instructors are there. But Chris 
is, is a full-grown, mature man uh, who has done an excellent job of uh, keeping everybody happy and keeping everybody in line, including the instructors. Right. Well, so, this is a little uh, that, bit different, though, because we want the high school kids. You know, we don't. Well, there we are don't, some high school kids, and yes, I know, and, and you don't want ten-year-olds. The high school programs, we'd like the kids from prep and the kids from Greens Farms and the and the combined Fairfield team. I mean, our survey is well, not geared for elementary school kids to complete. Right, right. Well, so, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. What, well, what was that? But let's give it a what, try. What, what about let's, elementary school kids? What, what, what about elementary school kids? Yeah, we're, the survey is not suitable for them. So we're really talking about kids that are 15, 16, 17, 18, those yeah. that age, the high schoolers. Yeah, well, do you say you won't get more than, yeah, all right, 18 is the absolute max. And I don't know any. Right. No, but know, we just want the high school kids, Mary. We don't want the. Yeah. We don't want necess- Well, it would be great if the kids who do the summer program responded. But I think I think at this point, what we're we're looking for is the the kids who who race in the in the um, uh, the FCAC program and uh, you know through the public schools and and through the through Greens Farms and okay. and prep. Well, as far as I know, uh, I, I'm not even positive who's, who's sailing at Pequot now, but I think Fairfield Prep is sailing at Pequot, and Fairfield uh, High is sailing at Pequot. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not sure, Westport has is, used to be sailing at Cedar Point. Uh, right, and, but Greens uh, Farms, uh, I think, sails out of, sails through the high, sails through the Yacht Club, too. They do. Uh, Mary, I mean, they, have, uh, they have their own fleet now, too, which is good. Yeah. But, uh, Mary, I bet, I bet, I, let, let's, let's try next anyway, week, Anyway, that we, would we, be... We can get it to these people, I'm pretty sure. We, we can figure out a way. Well, yeah, well, okay. I mean, I, I ran into a dead end, so I gave up. Which I, sorry, I had a lot of things on my mind in the last uh, couple of months, so I have not right. been as fully yeah. committed to anything as I used to be. But... Uh, I, I will get a hold of um, be, be, a bit, a bit Bonnie between and you and me. We can do we can we can figure it out, and we'll try next well, week. Well, you have better for something else. Uh, all right, okay. Do you know who the coaches are at Fairfield High or Fairfield? Do you know who runs the the um, program at uh, uh, Fairfield Prep? Who is who is no. the who is and the? And that's what we want to know. We'll we'll find out, Mary. We'll we'll figure it all out. All right. Next well, week. Those, that, that's who you find out who the, yeah. who the right. people right. in charge right. are. Right. right. That's what we'll figure right. out. Yeah. So aside right. from and, this, and as far as as far as Green's Farms, you have you get a hold of their people who are responsible for the sailing program, and they can give you the names if they want to. I mean, they may not want to. Well, well we I don't, don't think I, that's we why I think we, we can and ask them to fill it out. Yeah. I don't think we can. I don't think we can. Indiv- we can. Uh, solicit a response from the kids ourselves, I think it needs to go through the coach. Yep. And that's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, they so need, that's kids what. need to be given an opportunity to do this and know what the site is. Right. And it would be, right. what would you want, 14 or, uh, or above or what? Yeah. Well, let, let's just see, Mary. We'll, 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 let's, let's, let's work on it next week. We'll, we'll figure out who to contact. And, and I, I'm, I'm, All right, I'm who's we, you. you and me or, uh, yeah. or you and somebody else? No, me and you, you and me. <laughs> we'll figure it out. All right. All right. Well, so as, aside, from, aside from the group of 20 and under, is there anybody else that, that, that we think we might have forgotten or that might need a little more um, encouragement to respond? Well, um, well, the Corinthians, I guess the Corinthians are not, they're usually a little older than 20. There are very few of them who are um, who decide to become a Corinthian until they're out of college. Um, right, but, but Mary, I'm looking at I'm looking at question I'm que- question three and um, question four of the survey and the results that Jeff sent us, and actually question two as well, question two, three, and four, just to see if there's any, it looks like there's any, any gap in who responded and whether or not there's somebody else that we need, aside from the high school kids, that we need to reach out to. Mm-hmm. Well, 
I don't know, the Corinthian members are now are at going age from, I guess, 18 through now 38 or something. And so that's, you probably got people from that age group already, right? Yeah, we got, well, 21 to 40 was the, was the next smallest group. Yeah, well, your, your population at Pequot, um, they have some extremely enthusiastic racing sailors at Pequot who are, uh, well, a lot of them are in the 40-plus uh, group, but some of them are not, but they, they uh, very few of them. They do the, the one design racing. Um, oh, what about Evan? What about Evan's group? The, uh, um, he does the uh, adult sailing. But that's the same group. It's the, they're, they're older. Well, we got an awful lot of, I don't know. I mean, we, if we look at the, at the on question three and we look at question four, Okay, I don't have it right in front of me, so let me, I think I have it. Right. Yeah, but but, but me... there seems to be a, a, a good response from the Pequot Yacht Club. In fact, that's the, yeah. the, 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 yeah. the means of access that most people, most respondents have identified, mm-hmm. and then the town, town boatyard is next. Yeah. And yeah. then, and then uh, views from Harbor Road. That doesn't right. mean that the, the same person couldn't check all of those. Do but, all three, at least two yeah. of them, yeah. Yeah, well, it, it, you know, Southport is, is unto itself in many ways, and uh, uh, I'm probably sure there, I know people, there are people who come from other parts of Fairfield to walk up and down the road and stuff like that, but I doubt very much they'd be motivated to, I don't know whether they'd be motivated to answer that questionnaire or not. I have no idea, uh, actually. Should we, should we send a... Um, send a um, a please uh, publicize our survey to the Country Club of Fairfield? No, I think you better go to uh, the uh, manager of Country Club of Fairfield and ask if it would be okay if you... Uh, right, I, we could do that, but do we want to? Yeah. I think that's a good idea. You have a do- you, there are many people who belong to the Country Club of Fairfield and also the Yacht Club. Uh, but, uh, yes, you might... The people at the Country Club of Fairfield often have opinions about the, the yacht club. Well, it says 33 people who, who have access, who, who enjoy access through the Country Club of Fairfield have responded. That's a good number. Okay. There, there may be others who are members of Pequot but responded under the name of Pequot or responded by saying Pequot. Well, you know what? So I think 33 I, is not bad. I will, um, you know who knows the, who the manager is is uh, Pat Carroll, and well, I email him have, and ask him for that information, and then uh, then then send an email. Well, there's, there, there is a new manager. Yeah, and the Pat one that's been there. Who, yeah, Pat. I think Pat, Pat knows who it is. So, Pat, what? Pat knows who that is. Who the new manager is? Okay. Well. I, when I approached the manager of Pequot to get Pequot's names, uh, Pequot information out to Pequot people, I, every single person who worked there did not want to give me that information. They wanted what the, they wanted the uh, uh, commissioner, the commodore, or somebody. Okay, like well, that if that's the it. case, he'll he'll respond that way. But aside from yeah. the Country Club of Fairfield, anybody else we should be looking at? Well, the Country Club of Fairfield is a good one. They're, they're all there. You know, they're right there on the other side of the harbor staring right, at Right, right. But I, again, Mary, I'm looking at question four. Is there any group here that we think we could do better with? I don't know, Kim. Uh, there's a very good relationship between the Yacht Club and the, and, and the Country Club. They, they try to be good neighbors. They share the same uh, engineers who do the marine work around the harbor. Uh, as I say, many, many of them have the have joint, uh, you know, more than one membership. Uh, I, I might, you know, if, well, they, they, I don't know. I, they, but it isn't boating that they have the relationship with. It's just they're looking at uh, right, the right, water, right. I guess. Right. 
So but this, they have been very theory. good. They have, you know, when we tried to get that sand, well, we did get some, some of that mm-hmm. sand out of there. They, they were very generous to the, to the town and, and the, allowed us, the town to, uh, allowed the town, uh, and, uh, you know, and sponsored by the Harbor Management Commission to take this, the, the uh, sand from the dune or from the sandbar that's in the harbor right, right. and put it on the town beach. Right. But they were a little disappointed when they when they got it put when it got put on the town beach that they hadn't uh, cleaned the sand before they put it there, and it, it, there, it there was 50, dirty. It wasn't dirty, people, but it was brown. There are fifty people who responded that say they they access the harbor through annual annually permitted moorings. Um, yes, hmm. but I don't know how we can if, if it went out to all the, the people on the on the mooring list where there's not much more we can do about getting responses. Uh, in that you're regard. right. I think that would be harassing if we did any more than that. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, typically surveys get what, three or four, three or four percent of the, of the numbers contacted. I mean, it's not a big, it's not usually, they're, they're not usually responded to unless there is a major problem. Well, th- th- there's more people that responded to this survey in, in, in a week many more than responded throughout the city of New London or the city of Norwich when the surveys were on for, for a year. Um, yeah. So, so <laughs> okay. it, 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 it shows... Well, they, I, they, I, did you tell so them they, they had a deadline? I don't remember seeing that. Maybe they, no. You did. No. Was, but, I think. But my, my point is, Mary, that, 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 that this is, I think that this is a very... The people have responded very thoughtfully, I, thought, I think. That there, there's I think no, you're, you're lucky. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's lucky that the people people care about the harbor and that people are are, are closely connected with it, and I think that's part of of what we should uh, highlight in in the in the summary of it that that uh, the, the the thoughtfulness of the responses is is indicative of the people who care about the harbor and how important the harbor is to them. I don't think that there's anything. Uh, you know, I, I think we should try. Well, I. I doesn't matter. I'd stop talking. All about right. It. Well, you you have you. The Sasquatch list covers Fairfield pretty well, as well as Southport. Yeah, but, but again, we can't here. we can't do anything more about that, Mary. We we sent it to Sasquatch. We can't keep pushing them. Uh, no, it, but it well, Jeff. Them. So, so what it, what it is was we get, we get what we got from them. Yeah. So, sure, you did. So and again, a, a large number of them are members of the Yacht Club. Mm-hmm. So. Do we uh, do we agree with Jeff that we keep it keep it going for a couple more weeks? Keep it out there and make an effort to get in touch with the the the, the kids and the Country Club of Fairfield people before we shut it down. I think that's fine. I think giving the first select women's newsletter a couple more shots at reaching yeah. people that might have missed it in previous yeah. weeks it can't hurt. And okay. then close it out. I, again, I think we've got the vast majority of what we're going to end up with. Mm-hmm. This I would, yeah, I would yeah, agree I, with that. Yeah, I think you have. You can't. You have what? Four, five hundred answers now. No, oh, three hundred. Three hundred. Out of how many do you think? Out of um, seventy thousand. <laughs> no, <laughs> we didn't. We didn't know <laughs> we did people. We asked people to just. No, respond. the people who might answer. But we don't know, Mary. It, it, we it, don't know. It, it's, it's not. We didn't send it to a group with a, a, a specific number. You know, we we just sent it out as 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 best we could to as many people as yeah. we could. We just announced it's available. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and well, as I say, right, well, uh, number one, a lot of people in Fairfield don't know anything about South Fork Harbor. They go to the South, uh, South Benson Arena if they do anything like that, or Black Rock, or you know, all that, all those other places to sail, uh, and uh, they're very happy with that. Uh, and uh, I, I think 300 out of that number of people uh, is very good. I think, it, I, think I, I would the, um, I would agree with Mary in, on that, and you know if we all agree that we're we're satisfied, we can keep the survey open a couple of weeks longer. But if we believe that the sampling we've received so far is adequate and constructive, I would argue mm-hmm. the next step is to start looking at recurring themes and figuring out mm-hmm. an action plan. I agree. But, uh, I, I think you're. 
Go ahead, Jack. Yeah. I, I agree with that. I think that's exactly right. I yeah. think we're we're the sort of verbatim, the couple of the results give us a pretty good indication of of people's key points of view and areas of, that they'd like mm-hmm. to see us focus on. I think we can call out some indicative verbatim responses that might be even used at the beginning of our updated harbor management plan that reflect sort of the sense of people's thinking. Now, uh, more, more, more interesting to me is what, if any, complaints did you have? Well, Mary, they're all right there, and that in the uh, in the um, email that Jeff sent us, or that I sent to you, I guess it was around early, or around noontime today. And um, oh, okay. Well, I've been. It, it, I haven't, you, you've I haven't turned all, on my computer not, today. What? Yeah, but generally speaking, not a lot of not a lot of complaints. Uh, some co- some concerns, but but I think so. So if we're going to to publish the answers, how do we? I mean, we don't just. What do we do? How do we do it? How do we think about mm-hmm. getting all this information back to folks so they know we heard them? Well, I think you do the same thing you did when you put out the survey. You put out, you asked the first select person to uh, uh, right, but then put the announcement got... that they, the results of the survey uh, in, uh, in her newsletter. I, I think we should, we should be thoughtful about the key themes that we've, we've taken from the feedback. We can't give every last piece of feedback out to the public and have any meaningful discourse on that. I would argue you just determine maybe the top, say the top six to eight themes and an, a proposed action plan that we're going to be looking at. That, that's one way to look at it. And I think determining those themes is going to be the, the trick. Yeah, I agree. I think that the one way to think about it might be to think about uh, things that people said were important and and the most important things that came yep. out of the verbatim that people said were important, but that's a little bit different than things that people thought thought we needed to fix. There were some more tactical things that were brought up by people repeatedly that we might want to pull out also that are they're different than more long term strategic things. They're just near term fixes that people are asking us to look at. Are they related to with, something like safety? Like, and there were many comments about swimming and and improper use yep. of the channel, basically. But and, yeah. and dogs. And dogs. Right. And, and it seems like th- those don't rise to sort of strategic things. Those are kind of tactical findings that were right. repeatedly right. brought up, and we should address those too. But I think we should distinguish between them because we were looking for sort of agreement with our strategic imperatives on one hand and came up with some um, tactical things as well that people are asking us to look at. Well, yeah, the dog thing is a, is a biggie uh, for about five people. <laughs> well, but, 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 but for the priority, priorities that, that we had identified, uh, th- th- there's the majority of the respondents agreed that those priorities were very important, except, except for the, uh, you know, the, uh, what is it, the, the, the mooring, continue to update and fine-tune the mooring rules and procedures. Uh, right. That was the only one that people felt might be important but didn't agree that it, or the majority of respondents think it was very important. They didn't know because they've never seen them. Yeah, but, but <laughs> there's also a big theme about just leave things just the way they are for a lot of yeah. responses. Yeah, So yeah. there's mm-hmm. a lot of yep. like, don't touch anything. So I, I yeah. think that's I, I, one of the takeaways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I take that as a compliment that they don't realize that those things are being managed. Right. right. No, well, they don't have, they, it, when you get your, my understanding is when you get your permit, you, you know, you might sign up to get a permit, and when you get it, you, it is not accompanied, your first shot at it, it is not accompanied by a copy of the rules. Okay, right. so they don't know what the rules are. They don't know what, they, they, if they, the rules are going on and on and on and on. 
But they're, um, but they're post they're posted, Mary, on the on the uh, online system now, so pe- they, people have access to them. Well, then that the, is, are they noticed that the, that they where they are posted when they send out oh, yeah. uh, send oh, out yeah. their permit? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But I don't mm-hmm. I don't think there's anything here that 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 would would lead the commission to change course or or do anything different than what they've. I, I think this is supportive of of the. Of the commission's programs and 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 of the the, main, the priorities, and that Agreed. we could we can summarize some of these additional comments. But I, I think I think we could write a nice a summary, of basically thanking the people and and uh, for, for their responses and, and just writing a a narrative about uh, about the responses. And then I guess you'd have to decide whether you wanted. To, to put on the on the website all, all of these responses just as they are. There's nobody's names. Nobody's names are included. And uh, if we had a written summary, uh, and and, uh, and and then p- just posted all the results. I, that, that well, do my, my you have thought. a sense of what? Do you have a sense of what you could say? On some of the questions. Yeah. Uh, you know where you, you, you get them, where you where do you live? Uh, that that's easy. Well, yeah, but no, uh, but no, but 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 we we had areas of focus, Mary. You know, public health and safety, and, and right, uh, okay. environment, remember, yeah. and and just sum, summarizing how people felt about those, and that 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 the responses indicate the, you know, that people are are aware and are, are interested, and and then and then these priorities, and then and then yeah. of course we've got to go through the the written comments uh, carefully to to pick out, you know, some of the new things that were brought up, but like like you said that. The, the, the uh, you know there was people that commented about the dogs and the swimming, but pretty much everybody felt that the maintaining the the hundred foot width of the channel through the sandbar is an important project. Uh, right. Yep. I, I I just think it was it's a positive it's been a positive thing and it it shows and one thing I'm reading through this quickly is uh, unlike other surveys there's no bad language people use to refer to. <laughs> People right. that they don't like, including politicians <laughs> that run their particular town. But <laughs> I'm sorry. No, but I, I, I just feel like we could. I think I agree with everything you said. I just think we could pick out a few of those verbatims and yes. and yes. sort of highlight the, those points that mm-hmm. you're yeah. making by yeah. picking some illustrative verbatims out to really emphasize that people were supportive and, and voiced their support in, in different words that basically yeah. are are reinforcing what we've been meaning to focus on. Right. I read one where the person was asking about if there's anybody keeps a, a, a account of bird species that visit the harbor. Right. Was, I thought that right. was quite Yeah, there was more than yeah. one comment yeah. on that. Yeah. 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 How do I they would, get access? I, I, that? I thought it would think it would be interesting uh, or people would be interested if we we made the the results as we see them available to everybody anybody who wanted to see them. Yes. Um, I mean, certainly, we. I think we have to do uh, 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 a, a summary, um, and um, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? A, a synopsis, a summary. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But I think it would. People would be. Some people would be interested to see the full range of of uh, think, comments, so. and uh, I don't know. I, I think that would be 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 useful um, since we've asked people. Mm-hmm. Why not let them see what everybody else said too? I think so. And then that the only concern there is, and I don't disagree with that. But yeah. if, for example, you have someone says, "Okay, thank you for you know providing the the complete survey results. What are you planning to do about category four, uh, question five? And and mm. maybe that yeah. isn't something that we're planning to address." So be, yeah. be, we've got to yeah. be careful about setting ourselves up for having to pr- agree to action items for every single question. Yeah. I, I thought we were just showing the responses, not agreeing to them. We're no, I don't think. I, I think here you should you should be able to put it across that these are the um, these are the, the, the vast numbers of, of ideas that were presented, uh, and that we found them very interesting. Uh, we're not promising. We, uh, some right, of them we'd have to. Right, right. Ideas. right. Yeah. We're about. We're prioritizing our action items. You can't boil the ocean yeah. here. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And, right. And pretty but, much every 
everything that's been identified is addressed in some way through a policy in the plan or, or you know, existing plan. Or yeah, we'd, right. We'd have policies to, uh, that, that would address most everything. I'm, I'm just looking through through these. Well, I don't, one I thing that you might walk to... away from, with, everybody who has a vote in that harbor ought to know what the plan is, what the main ideas in the plan are. Well, we're not, we're not, we're not, this, this is like a introduction to the plan, Mary, and also yeah. you know, that we, we had the, re, the, the, the link to, to, to the presentation as well. I uh, gather from reading the results on the that not... What? Did, did anyone comment on the presentation? I think there's a couple of them, comments of it, Mary. Yeah. There were a couple of comments, but I, 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 after reading the, the comments to the questions, it, it was clear that there were a lot of people who didn't take a look at the presentation and should have. Right. Yeah, well, I'm thinking that it should be, that presentation should be uh, absolutely required for the Board of Governors of Fequat Yaxlam, period, to see that every two years. The, uh, but the other thing that, that you know, that, that which leads us, which gets us right back to what we had talked about, uh, you know, dividing the plan up into 15-minute segments and making those available on the website. Um, yeah. You know, clearly, clearly, clearly that we need to do uh, some of that kind of outreach would be, uh, would be great. Yeah, it looked like there is a thirst for more education about harbor yeah. and history mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of the mm -hmm. kinds of ideas that we had talked about. Yeah. Well, I, I think that the presentation is an, is an excellent, uh, gives you quite a bit of information about the harbor uh, that right. is not yeah. normally thought, known about. And it also, it also is for the for good uh, publicity. Uh, it also um, uh, makes it clear what the art club does in the harbor. Which is well, what everybody does to yeah. No, not everybody. Uh -uh. Jeff, no, you know, one of the ways that you... Not everybody knows us. much of anything. <laughs> Jeff? And, What's that, Jeff? I mean, really. What, Jeff, one of the things that you had pointed out to us is that, you know, when the Harbor Management Plan was created years and years ago, there was a lot of controversy in the Harbor mm -hmm. about how things should work and so forth. Um, and the defederalization, all of the rigmarole around that. And one of the points about our plan update at this point is that there isn't a lot of controversy. And I think that this survey reveals exactly that, that, that there's some, some desire for us to be on top of managing things like the shoaling problems. But yeah. there are not a lot of controversies here. There's, when they, with the right. issues people are raising are about maybe putting up some historic uh, monuments or, or information about the history of the harbor, uh, if that's what people are focused on, that doesn't sound like there's a lot of controversy going on. So I feel like right. one of the key takeaways right. is what's not here, which is not a lot of controversy right. about things. Right. Well, the, the history of the harbor is also in the plan. But it, it, you might... No, I mean, the, the might, feedback we've got was, should we put things up around the harbor that say, in this location, uh, onions were loaded onto ships to be taken to New York and things like that. But, that people were know, but, thinking but, that but maybe then you take the space away from people who want to be there. Yeah, but but the, the, big, the big thing is, and I know there were a couple of comments in this regard, but people, people did not say, keep out the, keep out the out-of-towners or keep out the non-residents. Or, or just reserve Southport for for uh, Fairfielders. You know that that was a big issue before. That, that somehow the harbor would be open to all, and as a result, it would be overrun, and the historic character would, would be lost. But but you don't have that. I didn't see that in, in uh, you know re reviewing. Well, we had it for quite a while when there, we were fixing up the boat yard. If you recall, there were a couple of pe people who complained about. Um, about you know too many too much too many out of towners or too many people parking at the yacht yard, uh, and one or two comments about you know how come non residents get to use the facilities, but I don't think there were more than three of those four right. of those kinds of comments. There were very few of them. Yeah, so, the, the, so well, twenty five years ago it would have been two hundred comments like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. 
I think and now one it's, thing it's, that might be. It is monitored. Go ahead, sorry. There, there's Carol? a police officer. There's somebody there every every day during the during the summer. No, uh, right, not a police. Uh, I think Carol? one and thing that might that I think one thing that might help. Um, this is just a suggestion, and I, I know there was a comment. One of the comments referenced too many cooks, but there, yeah. there's the Harbor Commission, there's the DPW, there's Parks and Rec. Um, that that are involved in managing the, the harbor and adjacent areas. And, for example, the Harbor Management Commission doesn't manage ye yacht yard parking. The police right. manages the, the guards there. The, um, the, the dinghy do- docks there are parks and are, they're through the town. Those permits are through right. the town. There, right. there, are two, there are a lot of cooks in the kitchen, and I don't think people understand who does what to whom. And and then I go back to this. There were several comments, if I recall, around the retaining wall down by Perry's Green. Yes. I, don't know who's, yeah. I, I don't know who's responsible for that. Is it the Harbor Commission? Is it Parks and Rec? Who manages Perry's Green? Parks and Rec runs oh. the, it's Perry Green. Oh, okay. Okay. My point is... I only the that. land part of it. And then the, wa- the water part of it, they, the uh, Harbor Management Commission provides one oh, mooring oh. buoy. Okay, so there's a retaining wall there. My point is people's comments are referring to issues, some issues, I'll use the word issues broadly, that the Harbor Management Commission is not responsible for. That's right. Um, We're not responsible for dogs. Um, We are responsible for the lower wharf area, which has become a dog park, but we're not responsible for dogs on leashes. So I think it would be helpful for people to know who really is responsible for what? DPW t- takes care of the trash removal at your yacht yard. That's not the Harbor right. Commission. It's not Parks and Rec. Right. You know, right. the police right. department manages the guards. Is there, there are tons of cooks in this kitchen. Yeah. It, it's an interesting yes, there point. are. I'm wondering if, if, if the, is, yeah. it, is it the fix to, to inform people about how many cooks there are in the kitchen, or should we create a joint committee to tackle the problem, bringing the right people together from these different... Well, uh, uh, that issue, Jack, was raised years ago about trying to streamline ownership of key adjacent areas in the harbor, and um, I would just say here we are today. I don't think that, obviously, that was was never resolved. So much. There um, are there are streamlining good reasons is just getting for, them together to work together. I mean, yeah, the problems well, I would, are the problems, yeah. and and uh, rather than reassign them, maybe we just get the right people together to work on the address the problem. Yeah. Or so what do, simply, do, do we simply say to I don't know who um, you know we got it we did this survey and we had a lot of people who pointed out that the retaining wall at Perry Green is failing. You know, right. Um, so then we should have a uh, that is that will cost thousands, well, oh, probably a million dollars to fix that then. Right, but that's between, not the issue. It, it's right. It's like what? I, what it was, it what could have been put in be by the federal government. But was it put in by the federal government, Jeff? No, no, Mary. But but that, that we we can we know that that's an issue, and it, it and and we can point that out as a priority or as a recommendation if, if we have to, but it's, it's, and, and we, we, yeah. we can work towards, it's clearly a problem fix, to fix that bulkhead. We, we um, we're just going right, to have to. I guess the question is, do we, we, we have, we got responses um, identif- uh, re- identifying problems that we have no, no way to solve and how do we, how do what do we do with that information? Do we report it back and say, "Sorry, guys, um, interesting information, but we, we we don't have any control over that"? Or do nope. we call parts? I think and Jack, rec, or do Jack, we, Jack's you know. idea is a good one. I think is to get a committee yeah. that joint committee that at least looks at the at, at the issues that right. are, for a lack of a better term, are common and figure out right. how to address it. Or crossover, right? They were raised in the survey. Right. They're fair complaints. Yeah. it's not the right. it's not the yeah. survey respondents' problem that we have a bizarre combination of responsibilities right. that are right. behind these problems. But we could be the convening body and, and, that pulls people together, right? And right, and right. At least be the ones uh, that try to find solutions, and and then we can report back what came of that. Yeah. Right. Okay. Can't I, you can do that. Please listen to me, please. 
Okay. Why does why do we have uh, this Perry Green? Okay. Who's in charge of the Perry Green? Who has the who who got who got together with Hoyt Perry, Hoyt O. Perry, the uh, the day Perry's grandfather, and uh, figured out who was going to be responsible for Perry Green, and they have rules and regulations. Okay, and they put it on they put it on the uh, Sasquatch Association. Okay, uh, there, and that's it's all down in black and white. And uh, very recently, the Parks and Rec had somebody come in and say, "I'd like to put a memorial uh, bench." on Perry Green in memory, in memory of my mother and or whatever it was and and, uh, and I left and I saw I, Jeff t- told me where to find the the uh, whatever you call that kind of a document the agreement and it said absolutely no benches are allowed on Perry Green okay so I looked around Perry Green there's three benches on Perry Green so I thought well uh, the, the um, uh, they're supposed to not supposed to be benches on uh, the lower wharf either, but I guess by that time they figured out they could have three. So there are three allowed on Perry Green. We are responsible. The Harbor Management Commission got the responsibility of uh, being in charge of the way the lower wharf was run, uh, but it has to also blend in with parks and rec and other things because they have various recre- recreational um, uh, limits and all, all of the things that they're in charge of. But every single bit of it is on a piece of legal, legal paper, okay? Right, and we, um, that's, that's okay, and, and, and that, that, that's, good. That's, that's really good to know. So that if we sit down with our counterparts from, from Parks and Rec and from uh, DPW and, and just say, look at guys, we, you know, we, we, we all have an interest in this, in this area, and we did a survey and um, just want you to know that we heard from a lot of people concern about trash being picked up or the retaining wall. Um, you know, how do you, well, we know it's not solely our responsibility, but, you know, let's, can we talk about how we're going to get this fixed? And I, I think that... The you best know, way to do that is Jack to go is get a, not that we get a not group that together. we try to do anything ourselves, but that we right. no. we talk to the folks, other folks in town who have responsibility or shared responsibility for some of these um, resources, and we see if we can't figure out how to get it all done, get things taken care of. I mean, we have an obligation to respond to the people with the results of the survey and what we're going to do about it, and then over time. Uh, what the answers were to things that people raised as issues, and just because they don't fall under our jurisdiction, it can't be that we, it, it can be our responsibility to pursue the answers, whether they like them or not, and report them back. So, right. Um, totally if people agree. then don't like the ultimate answers, they can then go to Parks and Rec or whoever the other party is and take it up with them, but at least we followed right. through with our commitment to follow through on the results of the survey we did. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Well, Right. right now, the town is hurting badly, as is every town in the United States, for money. And right. building, re, re, repairing that wall is going to cost a fortune. Now, of course, in right. typical Yankee fashion, they never have repaired it, and therefore it has gotten much, 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 much worse. Right. But it is expensive. And, and right. in order and to get it done, we'd have to get some money. Right, and mm-hmm. there's another wall down at Lower Wharf that's mm-hmm. beginning to look pretty bad too, and some of the some of the the structure of the wharf is beginning to look pretty bad. I mean, but you know, just because we well, don't have the mm-hmm. money to actually do something this year or this week or even the next two years, doesn't mean we can't come up with a plan to take a look at you know what we how we would what we would. Maybe there are grants out there. Who knows? But. Um, well, we tried so, very hard to yeah, get some tried. of that done, and it didn't work because we were right. strongly opposed. There's a lot of politics involved here, a lot, there's sure. lots of politics. So we're not, and, involved and in that. we're not involved in politics now, Mary. We, the, the, the plan identifies <sighs> the, the, the Perry Green and, and ta- the, the existing plan and who's responsible for managing it, and, and I think it even included in the appendix of the, of the, of the original plan the, the deed you know, that, that, that yeah. specifies how, how it's to be managed. But, but yeah. we, can, 
we can identify issues that have to be addressed in the harbor, and one of them is is to is to repair and re- replace that that bulkhead, and that that doesn't mean it gets done. You know, the money gets allocated, but it, it's 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 a it's it's an issue, and and it, our policy is is to work with the the the, the responsible parties to 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 accomplish the repair, uh, and and then when, when we. If, if there is a grant available, if the, this Connecticut Port Authority continues uh, as it's supposed to, and I listened for three hours this morning for the, to the Transportation Committee uh, asking them questions about it. And uh, wow. um, uh, Ms. Ms. McCarthy, uh, Kristen McCarthy was there too uh, on, on the Transportation Committee, and they were talking about uh, hopefully making this small grant program uh, viable. And, and, if, and if there is a viable grant program, then we, we, we and we apply for a grant, we can say, in, it, "Look, this is this is one of our our policies in the in the plan, or this is one of our, you know, we just didn't make it up. We know it's we know it's a priority, but, but we, we we can handle that, Mary. It, it's not a political right. thing now. It's, I'm it's not talking plan. about Republicans and Democrats. I'm talking about two sides of the population of Fairfield, and Southport people don't want a whole lot of people coming into Southport to admire the harbor. They don't want it. And that's why they have these uh, uh, restrictions in their, in the uh, situations of the property that lines up the lower wharf, particularly in Perry Green. The people who uh, gave that property or put money into that property set up a bunch of rules that would assure them that there would be now mobs of people coming in from Bridgeport or Lower Slopovia yeah. to clutter up their scenery. And I know, and you know, and I know. Right, so what? We know how but, strong but, that is. But 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 we're not proposing to change that. We're not changing the access to it. There's not. We're not making another parking lot. People have a have a have a have a right to no matter where they live to find a a, 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 a legal parking spot and, and walk on Perry Green, and and people oh, have a yeah they do right and they park to, there every day too and then yeah, we're but, used but to that now. But uh, but we're not proposing to change any of that. Well, we're talking. No, we're but they'll hear what they'll hear is, "Oh my God, all those people are going to come here." Now you but know it, well, Jeff. You know you've stood, you've sat in these meetings. I don't, I don't you see, know what we're, comes we're, out we're of the mouths pro- of these We're people. not proposing to change anything, Mary. We're, we're just talking about trying to fix the bulkhead. And and uh, yeah, and, well, how could that change things? I'm saying that's what I'm saying. Well, right we're not, now we're not even talking about that. We're talking about how to report the results of the survey yeah, right. and yeah. how we're going to that's let right. folks know that we we t- take their responses seriously and that we're going to make an effort to see yeah. that problems that they identified were were um, identified on, if you will, to those folks who have who might have. Uh, some jurisdiction and authority to take care of them. So, um, you know, we're a long way away from uh, from actually even fixing the the bulkhead or taking oh, care yeah, of I know. any yeah. of the problems. So, so, but, but, so what we've what we've said, and I, I'm, no, I'm noticing it's after four o'clock. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to leave the survey open for a couple more weeks. Um, Mary and Jeff are going to figure out high school sailing. Um, coaches uh, for perhaps to so that they could perhaps uh, get in touch with their their teams and we could get some respondents under 20 to answer the survey I'm going to get in touch with um, the the manager of the country club of Fairfield and just let him know that the survey is out there Um, we're going to we've decided that we will identify, uh, put together a summary of the survey with um, some uh, either some, some ma- identifying some major themes um, uh, and, and quoting from the survey uh, wherever, uh, wherever it was, seems appropriate to give folks the flavor of, of what we saw and that um, we will think about and continue to explore the idea of identifying uh, problems uh, that others in town government and town um, uh, uh, bodies uh, have some authority over uh, so that we could maybe get together with them to 
begin to to at least let them know that we heard from folks that these were that these were what what problems um, folks in town have seen. So well, you also had suggested having all the verbatims be made available too, and I think that's a good thing to do just for right, yeah, parents. right, right. Yep. I think that's great. Right. Well, so the, mm-hmm. yeah. So there were two two levels of reporting. One is sort of an executive summary, if you will, a detailed executive summary, and the other yeah. would simply be access to the survey, with yeah. perhaps some caveat about. Um, you know that we will be getting together with folks who have the responsibility for and or interest in issues that we really we really don't well what about there are ways of raising money to get this done but sure. if, if it's made, if you do it from if you do it with the population of South Park, they have this thing called a sensor conservation center. what is that called I can't remember uh, but it's not the Sassanot. The Sassanot cannot raise money, per se. But this other one can. And if they see uh, the uh, notion of the wall in front of Perry Green, actually it's right. dangerous. It's getting very rapidly dangerous. And it, it is very dangerous already. And yeah. But it does augur well for getting, okay, if we fix up that wall, then you can throw in a whole bunch more boats, which is not right. all bad either. Right. Because uh, right. we have a lot of these spaces for boats Used to be a, a, it used to be close to 150 boats in the harbor, uh, and a bunch of them were down where that sandbar has grown up and is attached to the wall at Perry Green and all that. Brings in more people, uh, and that always scares everybody in, on the waterfront, but that's okay. Lots of things scare them. Uh, but uh, it, it is a very long, slow, drawn-out process, and if the groups in town who raise money to improve Southport in any way, shape, or form, have something to say about it, they will also want to help regulate, which is yeah, okay, so too, because Southport can only contain so many people. Also, it would be very helpful to explain to people about the boat yard. That, that was a subject of a great deal of discussion before the harbor plan was finished, because, yes, it, it, is, it, is, uh, it is a federal project. People had deserve access to the waters of the federal, the federal waters at any time uh, they want. On the other hand, uh, it is also how the uh, people here uh, get access to the water with their boats, and they had to they had to negotiate with, as I mean, as I understand it, with the federal government as well as everybody uh, everybody else to get a thing a, a plan that would uh, pass muster with uh, to with, with the plan and be fair for all right. in a reasonable way. And uh, the parking issue is very well handled right now, but people aren't aware of what's happening. Uh, right. What they're doing now is they're allowing people who are not residents or who are not uh, don't have a sticker or whatever uh, to go into the boat yard at times when it is absolutely empty. There's nobody there, or there are three other cars there, and just sit and have their lunch or just sit and watch it. And the, and the police officer or whoever, you know, it's not an officer, but a police guard, uh, lets them do that because it's, it's pleasant for them. And then he, he says, however, right. if right. all of a sudden a whole bunch of people who are with boats come in here, and then I'll have to ask you to leave. And, and that's polite, and that's pleasant, and that makes it much more pleasant. Right. And, and uh, these are, this is all part of this community. Right, right. but, but that, that's all covered, Mary, in the plan. Uh, and... and uh, it, yes, it, but the, people the, don't read the plans then. Well, but that's but our job now is to update the plan and and provide right. you know uh, outreach and we're we're trying to we try to do that through the presentation, and we're and we're trying to do that through the through the survey. And I don't know right. you know we, 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 let's just go about this process and see you know what more we have to do. But but the the plan describes the the those conditions you're talking about around the or you know. The, 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 boat yard, the, uh, the, the, boat the town yard. boat yard and the, the access yeah. and the public landing that has to be provided for people. Um, yeah. And then our, our, our recommendations and our policies talk about maintaining that and in, in, in working in cooperation with the Parks and Rec uh, Commission and encouraging and supporting, you know, the uh, management of the parking. It, it, it's all, it's all, will all be covered. Um, it, and it, yeah, and it is now. Well, but you can do it in a way that you can make it accessible to the general public. Right. And for sure, you can have plans in the, all the libraries. 
That's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do, yeah. Mary. Yeah. We, we, yeah. And also, so any other any other thoughts about the survey that we need to help? Maybe we so we should plan to meet again probably in a couple of weeks when we may have some results from under twenties and uh, more country club of Fairfield folks and. Mm -hmm. well, the high school the high school teams, if they're going to do, do sailing at all, will be starting in March, I think. Right. Maybe beginning of April. You can get you can get them then, too. You can just get them then, if you want them. Should we be waiting for two weeks to start the writing up of the? No, the no. We can do, we can do we can do that now. Uh, That's why I was thinking we're going to have most of the results we're going to get, and we got yeah. some really robust right. verbatim. Yeah. Right. Right. Like we can start if if time allows. Yeah, I, I I think this is it's also what what the right word is, but it's it, in a way it's a tribute to the people who've taken the time to fill out the survey and, and make such you know thoughtful comments. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's I think it's very positive. Definitely, that, that's just my yeah, <laughs> com- I, I compared to the other I... the other towns when I did this. Oh gosh. Yeah. So Jeff, I, you I think, think it's that... beyond my expectations, but go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I agree, Cheryl. As much, many more, many more respondents and many more thoughtful con- comments than I ever expected that we would get. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we, 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 we'll start. We'll start organizing. Uh, you know how, how we would sum- summarize this, and, and uh, do, do, do we want to okay. ask the, the first select woman? Although today is her announcement, I guess, so it's too late. But uh, maybe. Maybe next Friday, say, you know, we'll, we'll keep the survey open for one more week and s- something sure, about the, I can, th- thank you for all the responses so far and we'll, we'll keep it open for one more week. That, that. I, I, I in, ha- have intended to write and thank her, and I didn't mm-hmm. want to do that uh, until we had met today to sort of get the, mm-hmm. the feeling from everybody about, you know, how much longer and how we wanted to proceed. But I'm happy to do that to, to give Jackie a, a thank you and just – just mm-hmm. ask her to to close it or, or to to not publicize it uh, to publicize it one more time, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Publicize yep. it a week from a week from uh, today, and then yes. that would be it. Yep. And that yep. I would let her know at that point that we will we uh, we've gotten a lot of responses, and that we would we would hope that, and I'm sure they will. Um, hope that they would um, also then include a link to our results when we have them ready to publish. So I can I, I'll do I can do that. That that's okay. uh, that's easy. Do we do we want to give um, Brenda the courtesy of um, a preview of the results before we publish them to the town? No. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's your deal, Thanks. not hers. Well, you know, that's an interesting question, She can question, see them, but, but that's it, yeah. you know? Okay. Um, we could certainly, um, we, can cer- we can certainly sh- give her the executive summary. We can certainly, well, they'll have it. Yeah, they'll have it before sure, they they'll have it in order to publish the, it. I, I was right? just thinking them. as a professional courtesy to the, the leader of the town, Politics aside, a, yep. an executive summary might be appropriate. That's all I'm suggesting. Okay. And if not, then I'd be curious as to why not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think and I agree with that. And beyond that, I, we had a conversation in this meeting about the fact that some of the issues raised by people in their verbatims span beyond our authority, but they're legitimate concerns that other parts of the town mm-hmm. are responsible for. And mm-hmm. we're going to be we're going to be reaching out to our our partners in those parts of town government to address those issues right. and get an answer. Well, could we say well, that we are seeking she should, she should creative ways to help? Yeah. Public, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you know I what? Agree, Jack. Say that you're looking for creative ways to resolve some of these problems instead of looking yeah. around for somebody else to do it. It might be helpful. Yeah. And I, I, um, Ted, uh, the, we, the, the budget, we're in budget season and, um, the commission uh, had a meeting with um, 
uh, with Brenda and with uh, Jackie Bartolone and the chief financial officer on Thursday. I was unable to attend, but Ted went, and he said that the um, – the, it was a very interesting conversation. They uh, wanted to know what our projects and priorities were. Uh, they were very interested in um, in all of them, and they clearly, uh, well, I won't say clearly, but but they d- didn't, they hadn't spent a lot of time um, uh, on our website or trying to, or or doing any kind of research about what we do and and and. And so um, they were, but they were very curious in this meeting. And so uh, I take that as, you know, a good sign that if we provided some an executive summary, that they might actually take a look at it, and um, you know, that might actually be reminded of the conversation with Ted this week. So, yeah, I think we do that. Now, by the way, just as a reminder, when they went through this whole process about getting the lead out of Mill River. The Harbor Management Commission, combined with the Conservation Commission and the Shellfish Commission, played a very strong role. Right. And and and, and helped right, to get the, the group to it. So that that was some, something that we did, and that was definitely in our purview. Right. So hey, we, I have to drop off, Kim. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I okay. have another call coming in. All okay. Right. Go, Thanks. Cheryl. Thank you for your right. input. Bye-bye. Yep. Thank you. Okay. So everyone else, why don't we say that we will plan to meet again in a couple of weeks and take a look at uh, any kind of uh, any kind of draft that Jeff's been able to do, and we will um, close out the survey. Yeah, very good. And then the other okay. thing we should probably think of is is uh, is is putting some narration to to our presentation. Uh, just without question we, we for the can... next for the next meeting. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I agree. Th- I agree. Thank, thank, thank you, everybody. Uh, Mary, how's how's your knee? Is your knee better? It's better. I'm on. I'm in a smaller brace, and okay. uh, I'm moving around good. a lot better. All right, very good. good. But uh, I'm very not not very anxious to get out and move around in the general public either. So it's oh, uh, don't go too out, much don't go stuff out running around. around outside now. Uh, uh, no, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> today. No, I don't okay, want to everybody. Get any Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Stay safe. Bye. Jeff, I'm going to call bye. you. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye.